Hello, this is Patrick with New Jersey's Outdoor Adventures YouTube channel here in beautiful Bradley Beach, New Jersey. Just got done biking up by the beach and I bumped into Victor and Victor has a really cool 2011 Leisure Travel Unity Class B Plus motorhome and the Mercedes Sprinter chassis that he's going to give us a tour today. Hello, Victor, and welcome to New Jersey Outdoor Adventures. How you doing, guys? Nice to see you, Patrick. Welcome into my home. Come in. Okay, so you can see first that it's a very, very wide, beautiful atmosphere, even though it's on a sprinter body, and the slide out of course gives us that much extra room but the thing that I love most about it is that you have this u-shaped lounge which basically is almost like the living room anywhere you go from here we have um, of course a TV built-in which basically gives you watching ability but with this kind of view I wouldn't want the TV to knock it out. You have all very nice uh, Corian finishes. Everything is all solid wood. They did a really nice job building this RV. It's extremely high quality. It's been around for almost a decade and uh, really shows how much good work they've put into it. So we'll go to the uh, one of the most important parts of an RV is the refrigerator. So I got my uh, salads and juices and all my vegetables and fruits. I'm somewhat of a health freak. So I just uh, love this refrigerator. It's probably bigger than uh, what most people have at home. We have a uh, convection microwave oven that works really well when you're on the road for a long time and need to cook. Uh, you have a deep sink um, almost like a home quality type of fixtures, um, a lot of storage, got all my spices, and then of course we have the, uh, the burners that allow you to actually do cooking, and it runs on, of course, propane. Uh, a little extension here, just in case you want to make sure nobody um, catches you in the bathroom, no, I'm just joking. Um, and then um, we have the, uh, the bathroom. We have a real Dometic ceramic toilet. Um, we have a giant garden shower, which allows probably two people to stand in at the same time. Um, but I've never tried that yet. Um, we have a really nice option here with the uh, mirrors because Whenever you want to change, you just open that, and now you get to have your mirror without anybody being able to peek in, especially when it's dark outside, they can actually see through the uh, smoke windows. Again, a lot of storage, everything's all solid wood. Um, got a really nice uh, wardrobe area here where I put all my uh, clothes, and um, more space here. I just put all the things that you need to live. I have hanging space for suits. Sometimes I have a business meeting. Uh, sometimes I'm wearing my shorts. Sometimes I'm going swimming. So as my day changes, my clothing of course change. Um, this is a very interesting um, place. It's almost like your garage. It actually um, leads out to the outside and also to the inside so you could use it in a dual space and then on the top here you have a lot more storage space where I have a fan and uh, stuff like that. Here on the other side of the uh, kitchen you have a pantry which basically opens up to get to see all my health foods and um, has a lot of storage in there. I mean I don't use it to maximize it because I can never leave everything that I need uh, uh, in there just you could probably put double, triple the stuff that I have in here. 
And then we go to, um, I have, this is my uh, Brompton folding bike, which basically fits perfectly in the, uh, the well of the steps, which is actually very convenient um, because it doesn't move around. And um, the Brompton is a great addition to any RV. I've been using this for over 12 years and it's been a stellar in terms of getting uh, anywhere. So I don't need a car, my bike is good enough and you can actually have two, one in this area, one here. Um, you can probably fit it in the garage if you feel like, but I have not done that. Um, Mercedes Sprinter is a, I would only buy a Mercedes Sprinter if I'm buying an RV just because they're so easy to maintain, they have great gas mileage and they're phenomenal vehicles. It's almost like you're driving a car even though it's a 20 foot uh, vehicle, almost like a, uh, uh, a truck. But it doesn't feel like it, it drives phenomenally well. Um, you have here a backup camera, um, all kinds, it has Bluetooth, even though this vehicle is a 10 year old vehicle, it has a lot of great options. Um, that they built it with and of course very pleasant uh, the seating is really really comfortable um, I actually like this better than leather um, you could sit in it with a wet bathing suit which happens to me a lot and um, it just works really well These, this also swivels out which I won't do because it's gonna hit the bike um, but and then you have some storage space here of course the wind visor the uh, sun visors and again more storage on the other side um, these are little cute uh, things that, in my opinion, are more, um, just give you a nice home look. Uh, they allow you to cover up, uh, just in case you're sitting here, you want some privacy, and um, you're in an area that other people might be looking in at. Um, you have these, this is basically your coat closet. I have little visors for the windows, so this way the sun doesn't uh, get back in here. And I use the bottom one for shoes and stuff like that so this way we don't sully up the floors um, the batteries are under here um, that allow the vehicle to run and of course you have the front um, batteries in, in the chassis um, you have really nice floors here that are very very easy to clean very easy to maintain and they actually give the vehicle a very very nice look um, the um, like I was saying before this is one of my favorite options basically it allows you could probably fit four people very comfortably here um, it's just a really comfortable area uh, another thing that you could do you could actually use this to sit down and work from here sometimes it's just very convenient um, take this out, put your feet here, and just, just enjoy. Uh, I didn't tell you, Patrick, or we were starting to talk about it, but I basically use this vehicle more like a home office. And um, my concept of what I wanted to do was to get out to some kind of nature. I was just sick of seeing the walls. And um, I've always dreamed about a vehicle like this. And the truth is that everything about this vehicle has given me what I thought it would, plus. I just love the idea of being outside and outdoors. You have also, I put my uh, covers, you know, for different temperatures here. Pillows here, you could, of course, you can maximize it with a lot of other things. Everything here is solid wood. This is all solid wood with great hydraulics. So everything is really, you got the vents here, these are LED lights, smoke alarms, and of course we have a very nice skylight that allows us to take advantage of the sun when necessary. Um, so just back to, you know, again, back to the, the best part of this vehicle. I sit here, I do my yoga pose, and I just sit there enjoying the beautiful lake and I'm working and I have everything here that I need in my office when it comes to a telephone system that's connected to uh, over 20 employees and um, I just have my iPad and I am going to get a, uh, a laptop in order to just complete it and make everything uh, just as if I was in my office. It would be no difference. Um, I'm going to show you now how the vehicle, um, how do you sleep because you don't see any beds here. Um, so, 
very simple. Um, another great thing about this uh, layout is that it allows you to move this. Like, I like the table a little lower, and this allows you to move it any way you want. So you want this a little closer to you, you want, you know, you want to have a little more room there. It's designed because of the option that it has to close up because the bed goes right on top of it. You just close the clamps, nice and easy. And then you got these little pieces, which I put right here. Take these little guys, throw them on the seat. And then you take this here, right here. I'm supposed to take these out because they're a little more of a base. And then you get ready to go to sleep. This is one of the nicest parts of the vehicle. It allows you to have a tremendous size bed. And um, I have to say that I sleep here as comfortable as I do anywhere. Even if in my permanent bed, it's just so comfortable. It's actually bigger than my normal size bed. That's it. That's it. So now bed is here, ready to go. You take your pillows out, you put it on, and all I could say is that this bed, I'm a little tired. I might go to sleep, um, but it's really why um, it, it makes you feel like you're at home, even though you're in your RV. Um, I only you have here windows that actually open up. Um, so this way, if you want, you can get the fresh air to come right over you. If you feel that way, if not, um, works any way you like. But it's a nice feature. This is also a great feature, just in case you know that bump your head in the night kind of thing. Or if you're a metal head, this will help you out. Um, you got the lights. Let me show you the lights here, which again are LED lights for 2011. That's a pretty incredible feature. And um, just a very, very cute, well-designed vehicle. Um, when I'm working, I have my newspapers here that I'm reading basically put anything here. This gives it again that really homey feel. This is a booster for the antenna because in 2011 the internet wasn't that uh, strong but believe it or not you can actually catch local channels. It's pretty easy to put it up. Just you put it just do that and then you just have to scan channels. Um, it's something that's really cute when you're going you're driving local and you're not plugged into cable, or you don't want to have, and then you basically turn this towards where the cities are, which would be north or south. Um, as you can see, even when the bed is down, it's easy to get to the kitchen, to your refrigerator, to the bathroom. So you can really leave it like this if you feel like. Like I was telling at the very beginning of the video, the slide goes out about two feet, um, and it allows for this to be uh, that much wider of a vehicle. Uh, the slide has to be out for the bed to be out, otherwise it would not, not work. Okay, this is um, <laughs> storage for um, the kitchen, and of course I have all my other, other things. You got here a fan that allows you to take in the, uh, the air, which is pretty important. Uh, you got an air conditioning system that can easily run there's two couple of ways to run it. When you go to an RV park, you plug in the power, you turn it on, and let me just show you the panels, so this way you can actually see it without me telling you. Uh, this is where you would turn on your air conditioning or heat, just like you would do at home, it would be no different. Um, so if you're powered in an RV park and you wanted to, uh, you had the power in, you just turn that on, no problem. If you're off grid, you can turn on your generator and then turn that on and it runs on propane. So it turns off all your power, and this tells you how much 
um, propane you have, how much battery you have, how much fresh, um, and of course the slide in and slide out. I imagine some people would have some questions about certain things. First of all, refrigerator, how does it run? So the refrigerator is pretty uh, unique um, and within the RVs, this has a three power where you can actually run it on propane, which is now. You have the auxiliary, which it gives you, which is the battery power. Um, and it runs on your generator. So you have a three-way, um, it actually has four-way, but basically the power can run either off a battery, the 12, or the two batteries, the two different battery sets that you have. Um, it allows you to have different uh, settings for, you know, the temperature, um, and it's really a great unit. Um, people might ask, what are these little sponges? Well, the truth is I wash my dishes so much, I just need a new place to put them. No, that's not the answer. Uh, it just, when you're riding, you don't want to hear those rattles. So it's just really, really good to have them here. It just makes it rattleless and allows you to go by, um, uh, you know, run to the store or something without hearing, you know, rattles are not a good thing. Not for me anyway. Um, uh, another thing here, this is a little spray here, which really allows you to, of course, clean, um, the basin, but even better, you could use this as a bidet, which is really, you know, something that you don't even have at home. I have here a little slide door that allows you to have some privacy when necessary. And um, you probably, you know, another great thing about having the shower, because a lot of times today people build their RVs without building a shower. The benefit is, is that, you know, when I go to the beach, where do you put your wet stuff? You know, you're gonna put it, you know, so here I get to hang my bathing suit, which I go to the beach at least two or three times whenever I'm close by. I have my, my shirts that I basically wear whenever I go to the beach, and um, that's great. Another great thing about this vehicle is it has this little drawer. It's all these little small things that make a difference. When you're taking something out of the microwave, uh, convection, whatever it is, cookies, dinner, you put it somewhere because you're not going to have that much space here. So they've thought about a lot of little things that make life that much easier. And again, everything is solid wood. And when you're riding down the road, you don't hear the rattles, which I've ridden other RVs before, and they that makes a very, very big difference. Um, that's why, for me, Leisure, probably, in my opinion, one of the better manufacturers of, uh, of these type of vehicles. Um, this is, this is pretty interesting. You know, the first time I came here, I didn't realize that there's two kinds of shades here. And then I'm getting dressed and, you know, people are knocking on my window. Apparently, I was providing too much entertainment. Um, what it does, this allows you to, for nobody to see you from the outside. And this gives you a little light, but you just don't want to be seen from, from the inside. Another great thing here is that you have these, I put these little cheap uh, clothes pins because when you riding down the road, you don't want to hear that. That, that protects it. So there's just these, all these little things to protect um, and just make sure that you don't have to hear. Now this is, this is really good because when you have this frosted glass and the sun or a light or whatever is coming in, it's going to bother you sleeping because you're sleeping right here. This is the bed. Um, so right now you have the ability of blocking it out. Let's go down to the outside. You know, people worry sometimes about break-ins into RVs. And the truth is that it's something you have to worry about. But if you take a look at this door, excuse my language, but it's like a freaking safe. You know, if, if anybody's going to get into this vehicle, they're going to need a can opener. Because that, you know, this is, this is, this is strong stuff. So uh, another, another good thing about this, it has a dual lock, which, you know, it's nice to have. But you've got to be careful that you're locking the right one, because otherwise you might get locked out. Um, it has a real door screen, which is something um, that you don't see in today's RVs. Um, you got the bars here, so this way when your little pet decides he wants to jump out, there'll be something protecting him, and you're not going to ruin the you're not going to ruin it. And you got you got your uh, step here that maneuvers up and down. I have it shut now, so this way it doesn't hit the uh, uh, the curb. Um, got LTV leisure travel vans. They're made in Canada, just for your knowledge, so not everything great is made in America. Some things are made in Canada, uh, but they did a phenomenal job. The awning that comes all the way out, uh, you can see we have the antenna up. You have these little 
fasteners here that allow the awning to come down and to fasten there. So just in case you don't have enough space on the uh, on the floor, um, let's take a look at some outdoor compartments. Everything is steel, which is nice. These are some chairs, a broom. You have these little cute things that allow you to keep the door open without it hitting your head because like I said this is steel and it just gives you that option again all the little features that they thought of in order to give you the, the luxury of a great experience uh, whenever you're RV you're gonna need some power on the outside whether it's a boombox your computer or laptop whatever it is boom you plug in there and the inverter runs it they're dually wheels to give you the traction uh, necessary because it's not a light vehicle, um, but it is holding the home, the RV as they call it, and it's, um, it's just just works really well. Almost maintenance free in my opinion. Uh, you have the vents here for the refrigerator and for convection microwave. You have lights also for the outdoors when you're gonna be at a place that doesn't have campground park. And then over here, we're going to, uh, this is the exhaust. And then we got here, this is the Cummings generator, which actually comes in very handy when you need it, especially if there's a powder outage in any, you know, here in, in Jersey Shore, there was a power outage um, a couple of weeks ago. And all I can tell you is, that came in so handy because I got air conditioning, I got everything. Meanwhile, all my friends had to go back to their home. And this is my home. Um, okay, and then you got, this is all your hookups for power, water, um, everything you need in order to just hook up to um, an RV park or any place that has it. This is your garage, like I mentioned from the outside. Like, like I said, it's a garage. These are some sleeping bags that never were used. And they give you the uh, option of having some people sleep on the floor, on outside, so this way, because this vehicle is a two-person vehicle, these are units that allow you to balance the vehicle, so this way you're not, you know, eating while you're on one foot. It helps a lot. And there's all the other things that you need in order uh, to maintain the vehicle which is pretty easy because I'm not a high maintenance guy. Um, this is the propane exhaust, and this is the jack, so this way you can hook up to almost anything, and this, of course, is for all the power for anything that you're gonna have uh, going, uh, that's gonna attach to the vehicle, for the trailer. We have cameras on the top there that give you the backup uh, ability, and on this side here, we got the, macerator you got uh, this is the propane uh, this is the propane shut off switch you don't have to go inside and do it uh, this is uh, you got to pull this out when you're doing uh, you're cleaning out the black and the gray tanks and um, of course I can't show you that now because it'll get really messy and this is a little light here so this way if you're doing it at night you now here um, we have a outdoor shower we have a cable hookup of inter winterizing and um, this is a really nice feature that allows you to just go ahead and winterize the vehicle without doing much work because it'll use the pump in the uh, RV and you have water tank fill only or normal city water when you're at a uh, RV park but outdoor shower is pretty pretty cool and you have the uh, hook up there this way you could run this is on the outside okay so now we close this this is the water heater this is your power that allows you to plug into, uh, it's a 30 uh, volt, there's 50 and 30. You should know that when you're going to an RV park. And this is the slide out. This is the sewer hose, pretty interesting. This allows you uh, to store the larger sewer hose if you're gonna be at an RV park or somewhere else for a longer period of time. This is the slide out, which gives you all that extra room. Um, it actually has a little awning on the top to protect from water which is really, really, really important because the last thing you want in the vehicle is water. I always love the Mercedes Sprinter because you need to get up and 
do anything you want to do, you can get onto the vehicle. Uh, just an easy, smart design. You got really great mirrors that have the outside uh, turn signals. It's great for safety. Um, the Sprinter, this is standard, where you can actually go and you have to open up the door to get to the tank. Of course, it's only sulfur. And you can see here, the vehicle was originally a, uh, a gray color, a very, very light silver gray. And then, of course, they painted on it and they did a phenomenal job doing that. You got a little LED light, just in case you need it. And you got a really nice storage compartment here that I never knew about. And uh, Patrick, by the way, I think Patrick's a great guy. You know, he does these videos. He's a, he's, he knows everything about RVs, but he's also a great guy. Um, I mean that. So I just like this. This is a really nice little thing. I just Patrick just introduced me to. That's the truth. Okay. So if you're worried about being a newbie to RVs, I'm just going to tell you that it's not as scary as you think it is. Just, just you got to buy one. You got to get into it. You got to just enjoy it, and you're going to learn about it. It's almost like buying a home or buying riding a bicycle or a motorcycle. You're just going to get used to it, and you're going to understand it much better. This was a phenomenal, phenomenal vehicle. I love it. Um, I'm looking to, uh, if somebody's interested in uh, the vehicle, I am thinking about selling it just because I live in New York City and I would like to have a little smaller vehicle. Uh, but I'm so happy I bought this because it really gave me my first experience. And um, if anybody's interested, Patrick will post my, my telephone number. Just text me because I'm usually on the phone. And uh, I just love to talk about RVs. The, the real reason why I purchased this vehicle is because I wanted an office on the outside. Um, and also sometimes I like to sleep close to my friends. My friends live in the area. And this way I can be close to them without having to impose on them. And I really appreciate it. I appreciate the opportunity to show you my vehicle. Um, and uh, What uh, can you help our viewers with in regards to maybe they're in the process of researching RVs right now and they don't know whether they want a class B, C, or an A, travel trailer, fifth wheel. How did you decide to go with something like this versus a van conversion or a bigger RV? What led you to this form factor? Okay, that's a, that's a great question because really if you, everybody likes RVs because it's like a home on wheels. You know, it's almost like having, you know, like my fold bike. You know, I had a dream one day that I put my bicycle in my pocket and then I went to a place and they had it. So everyone loves an RV. It's a home that travels. Um, so it's a very good question. I'm going to say that you know, the Class A, the large, large, large ones, those are great if you have room for them, if you don't live in the city, if you live in a rural, suburban area. The Class Bs have a very big advantage. And the reason is, I'm here in Bradley Beach. I'm able to park on the street all the time except between 12 midnight and 5 in the morning. Now, let me tell you something. The houses in this area, on Avon and in Bradley, are going for anywhere between two to three million dollars and a really small house million and a half. I get to park this RV here, enjoy phenomenal views, and a brand new like this will not cost you more than 200 grand. So you get so much features, and you know what? If you don't like the neighbors, you get inside, turn the key, and you move. Um, so legally, I'm able to park it here, even with the the slide out. So that makes it a very, very big feature. Um, and you know what? In the winter time, I can go to Florida. In the summertime, I can go up to Alaska. I can work from here. I can sleep from here. I can eat. It's just a phenomenal vehicle that allows me to live a lifestyle that people mostly dream about. That's not so expensive. You know, you're spending you're spending more. And people have apartments in the city for thirty-five hundred, six thousand dollars a month. This is not going to cost you more than a thousand to fifteen hundred dollars a month, and that is of course which one you get. But a Class B for me is an advantage because you can park it almost anywhere. Uh, class Cs are just, I mean, Class As are just too large. Uh, I don't really know what a Class a C is. I know what a Class As are. So I'm I'm a I'm a newbie into RVs. I've, I've been dreaming about it for 15 years, and uh, just this May I decided that I'm going to buy one without question. Is and I just bought this, and I'm so happy I did because it's given me so much uh, freedom and happiness. So that's go ahead, Patrick. 
So to help some of the viewers along, uh, a Class B would be a regular van body. So it'd be a regular me metal van body, uh, non-extended, non-flared on the right. side. It doesn't right. stick out right. on the side. And a Class B plus is like a nickname uh, for an in-between. It's in between a Class B and a Class C. And if you notice the front of yours, it doesn't have the cab over. Right. Okay, because normally there's a bed up there and people can sleep up there. So they call these or nickname them Class B pluses uh, because of that. And a Class C would be a standard van front with the big flared box in the back and then a front overhead. And then the Class A would be a bus style chassis and they make gas Class A's and they make diesel Class A's and a lot of the diesels are what they call pushers where the engine's in the back. So there's lots of different classifications of RVs. Uh, the Class B plus uh, nickname type RV is, is increasingly popular lately because something a little bit more sleek, a little bit more luxurious looking, blends in a little bit better. You look at my van over there, that's a regular van size. Now I did some wild modifications to it, but that's a regular van. I can fit in a regular parking spot. It's not wider than a regular vehicle you might have problems with something like yeah. this if you try to park because you're about 20 or just under 25 foot long right, right. it's two parking spaces um so it, it's almost like a truck you cannot park it everywhere and it's one of the reasons why i'm thinking about selling it and and getting something that's going to be an 18 or 19 footer because that's going to make a difference between me being able to park it everywhere and uh, uh just it's a it's a little too large for the city but it just passes where you could you can do it. That's why I like it. I'm happy. You know, when you're sitting inside the vehicle, you feel like you're at home. You know, you have the high ceilings, you got the deep, you got your bathroom, shower, kitchen. You know, you really don't need uh, much more than that. And the style bath you have in there is what they call a dry bath. Uh, when you go to a Class B, most of them will have a wet bath where the sh toilet and shower combine in one compartment. Mm. You shower right over the toilet, everything gets wet. Right. So this is going to be a little bit more convenient, a little bit easier to use on a day to day. Some other things people might not know if they're getting something like this, or maybe what I I have in New York State you're not allowed to drive on parkways parkways in New York State are restricted based on weight and height you're too tall uh, so you know if you're programming your GPS and you put that in and it takes you to closest route it's probably gonna route you onto a parkway and you got to be very mindful and think about that stuff if you're getting into the RV world another thing is you have propane on board can't go through tunnels right certain tunnels in major cities you got Baltimore New York City Trenton, New Jersey, do not allow propane, so you have to go around. Now, one of the uh, bridge tunnel systems, the Chesapeake Bay Bridge, they do allow you to have propane, but you do have to pull over and get an inspection. They want to make sure the propane tanks shut off before you go through. So it's another thing you have to think about. Uh, one more last question before I, I wrap this up for the viewers. Now, you mentioned this is a 2011 Leisure Travel Unity. What was the floor plan? Uh, the floor plan, it's, it's a U, it's a Unity 24, because that's the, the size of the vehicle, MB, which is Murphy bed. So that's the Murphy bed you saw, and that's one of the things that I, um, they have a lot of different floor plans on, on the unit on the uh, Leisure Unities. Uh, some of them have like uh, a movie type uh, seats that turn around. I just love the U shape because whether I'm here with my kids or uh, a business meeting, it just looks really nice. It's very, very comfortable. And that's why I chose this model here specifically because I wanted to see a model here. I didn't like the newer ones because those seats, they just, you know, they're very individual. This allows me to almost, you know, uh, do... You can have a meeting in there. Yeah, with, yeah with and also if I want, I could just, I, sometimes I rest there. You know, I don't have to pull the bed out. I just, but you can't do that really on those, on those other chairs. And, you know, some people just want to have that movie lifestyle. I mean, for me, I'm more of a worker. I like to, I like to be productive and, you know, watching TV and movies is, is not my dream. Well, thank you for taking the time today Pleasure. to give our viewers a tour of your beautiful leisure travel motorhome. Just so I could help some of the viewers with the specifications, this chassis is a 170 inch wheelbase. It's a dual rear wheel, 3500 series sprinter cutaway, they call it. And it has a three liter, six cylinder turbo diesel engine and it's a blue tech diesel. So you have to add the death fluid. We saw that funnel in the back cabinet there. And with this configuration, the GVWR is 11,030 pounds. It's about 10 foot eight tall. You're taller than how with that antenna up. And it gets about 16 miles per gallon. And do you know what, about what these were when they were new, price um, point wise? I, I, I'm, 
It was about 150,000. So 150,000 MSRP. I know with Leisure Travel, they offer a lot of options. So they have a low base price and then uh, everything is a la carte. Uh, and then some of the other manufacturers might include it in packages and some manufacturers include that as standard. So uh, the MSRPs are gonna vary if you're looking them up online. Well, this is Patrick with New Jersey's Outdoor Adventures YouTube channel. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like this video, comment, share, subscribe. I love it. Thanks and we'll guys. see you soon. Bye, RV.